Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to go over the AM Silver Bullet for Thursday, May 16th. So here we are on NQ. I have that Kraken Silver Bullet indicator lined up. And let's see what happens here. Okay. While I'm doing this, I'm watching... Yeah, ES and NQ. So what is this? That's correct. That's correct correlation. Don't have that there. Okay, so let's look at ES. Let's do this. So let's see. Let's see what happens here. Let's see. Okay, well, easier to see with the crosshairs. So this did not take this low. And this low here was definitely taken by this. All of this was. So there's SMT with ES. See that? So like this is the same time. These candles are definitely higher than this. This actually is a lot lower. This is lower than this. So there's SMT with ES. So let's do that. Okay. Let's look at the higher time frame. It did sweep into this fair value gap right here. Oh, did it? I don't think it actually did. Let's let's mark it. Let's see what let's see if let's see where it's at in one minute. Ooh, came just shy of it of hitting it. Now it was already touched over here. It was already touched into right here. But all right. So now, what do you want to see to get in a trade? Well, I want to see this fair value gap right here. See how it gets traded into. I want to see if it is it being respected right now. Is it going to get traded through? Ooh. All right. So now that's an inversion fair value gap right there. So would you take a trade if it trade right into there? Well, ooh, look at that. So let's buy one. Why not? Let's put a let's put one right here. Let's put one right here. Let's just go to the bottom. Ooh, that's nine points. Let's just well, let's let's give it at least ten. Okay, and let's go to this high right here. Yeah, let's just go to New York Midnight Open. Thirty-five points, right? Let's do that. Cool. Sounds fun. Right here, just risking two hundred for seven hundred. Eh, I think that's a good, that's a good, that's a good setup, right? All right, let's we'll see how it respects an inversion fair value gap. I'm liking it so far. Definitely feeling better about it. All right, let's see. Now I have a breaker block. So I like the breaker block. Obviously, it's my favorite. So let's see how it plays out here. I just want to tell you that we have all-time highs right here. So we're flirting with, you know, with the highs here. The all-time high. And then it's anyone's guess at that point of what's going to happen. So don't let people tell you they know what's going to happen above all-time highs. Even ICT has said he doesn't know what's going to happen above all-time highs. It's uncharted territory for everyone. Ooh, do I got to close down there? Oh, all right. You know, I'm going to buy another one. Right there. And I'm going to aim for straight 30 points. What was this 25? 27. Let's just aim for the all time high. All right, so I have one here. Uh, this has to go to here, I believe. And this has to go. Let's just move it all to all time highs. Uh, I'm still going to try and take one off when it comes here, uh, to be fair. 
I wish I could split these up. I, to my knowledge, I don't know if there is a way to split those up. If you do know that in uh, the comments, please let me know. But I don't think there's a way to split these up. I know that that, that reverses it. and I don't want to hit any of these buttons because I don't want to screw it up. So, so I'm just going to let it play out. If anything, even a wick goes above this line, then I'm going to close it because it would have closed it. And I think that's fair. There you go. So I'm going to sell one because I think that wick would have hit it. So that's why I'm selling one because I think that wick would have taken it out right here. Uh, so I, that's why I closed one. I wanted to be fair about it. This would be up already and uh, up, up here. Uh, let's see. Let's do a three PDRA rule. Yeah, let's just go like right here. I'm underneath this order block. It's fine. I already captured 520 out of the deal, so it's fine. Oof, don't like that big long wick up. Consolidation right here. All right, again, like I've showed you before, I'm going way up here now. Probably New York Midnight Open. All right, don't know if it took me out before it took me out. I won't know. This is a, it probably did. It probably would have taken me out beforehand, uh, most likely. Let's see how the rest of the hour goes, which is only a few minutes. All right, let's just like this so you can see it. All right, all time high. There you go. It goes up higher. All right, so this is your uh, silver bullet two setups on during the silver bullet hour. So we came to the ten o'clock hour. We had SMT with ES. Uh, we waited for an inversion. We took a took a trade off the inversion for a value gap, and then it created a breaker as it went up, and we entered a second time. Uh, we could have just waited for the breaker and just entered once, but we added another position. We went to break even. We tried to take a partial here when it hit this. Uh, I think it was pretty close. And then we, you know, hit TP. We were aiming for all-time high as we actually created the all-time high. I think this is the new all-time high right now. And that is your two silver bullet trade setups on Thursday, May 16th.